guys welcome back uh, in this video we're going to be um, mounting the front shocks and the rear shocks to the off-road buggy uh, I'm really excited about this because once they are mounted we'll have a rolling chassis and we can start to prepare things to uh, actually put the engine in So here it is, we have the entire steering wheel uh, mounted. There's two bearings, uh, one here, which is closer to the U-joint um, there for the uh, rack and pinion, and then another one here, which is gonna take the majority of the weight, uh, which is right by the steering wheel on this hoop that I welded on here. Uh, this hoop's also gonna serve as kind of a dashboard, mounting switches and stuff like that. I'll probably weld something on there, like there, or I can mount some switches to hit it's in a good position for uh, reaching your hand.
time to fully weld the frame. I still have to clean it up a bit, um, cover up some areas, but everything is fully welded. Um, and I actually did all the work on the front suspension. So the front suspension and steering is all ready to be installed. Um, I actually did install it. I took it all back off in order to move it in and out and fully weld the frame. Um, but that's all set up. So now we're going to be focusing on the rear. And towards the end, I'll show you an overview of what I did on the front. Uh, the first step, uh, I put this box in with the tires on to mock up the setup. Everything's looking good. Um, I could do a slight adjustment to this right wheel here. It looks to be um, towed a little bit out, um, but that's an easy adjustment with these washers here between the brackets. Um, but next up, we're going to be taking the PVC push rod, um, which is what I'm going to be using because I'm going to be doing a push rod suspension. So a rod that goes from the lower shock mount up into the frame and the shocks will actually be mounted in here inside the frame. Um, and that's basically because the shocks are only 15 inches long. If you go back and watch, um, I believe the overview of the build project that I was going to be doing on this go-kart, I explained the reasoning behind that. But essentially, I'm just using this to transfer the movement of the A-arms to the shocks uh, by using a pivot point and mounting the shocks internally. Uh, so we're going to get working on that. So it looks like about four and a half inches of movement to about where I want the bottoming out of the shock to be. Um, and this is really important because I need to determine how long my pivot points are and whether or not I put a reduction in the pivot point, basically moving one of the mounts inward and one of the mounts outward to vary the amount of movement that you have on the other side of the pivot point. I'll explain that more as I actually install the pivot points. So I'm going with my pivot points being 8 inches long. Um, we're looking at about 3 inches inward um, to the actual shock mount. Uh, and it's going to be somewhere about here probably. Um, and that's not going to be adjustable. There's only going to be one hole. But then the remaining 5 inches are going to stick out this direction. And along that there's going to be multiple holes uh, to which the um, push rod can be bolted to, to vary the uh, stiffness and travel of the suspension.
Okay, so the complete rear suspension is done. Uh, you can see I finished up building my pivot points here. Uh, they're looking really nice, bolted on there. Uh, very nice machine finish. Um, I built my struts there, the push rods. Uh, like I said, that's PVC pipe uh, with 5 8 inch bolts running through, bolted to some 3 8 inch heim joints. Uh, that spans the distance there. Uh, some adjustability there. Uh, shock mount there, and then the lower shock mount is simply a piece of angle iron welded onto there. And I repeat it on the other side. Uh, so that's all done. Suspension is fully operational. Let's see, it's kind of springy. I'm a little bit concerned about the rebound, but it uh, is looking good for now. So next up, I'm going to go over and bolt on the front suspension components again in the steering, and we will have a rolling chassis. So after I assembled the entire front end, um, I'm now ready to make some other modifications, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so the first obvious thing that I added is a dashboard panel here. Um, I took some half inch bar, bent it to the proper shape that I wanted, cut it to the right length, and uh, welded it on there. Then I took some aluminum plate and bent the edges to the proper shape, rounded it off, hammered it everything um, I need to clean it right now but it's on there uh, nicely I put the steering shaft through it which looks really nice covers up that bearing and uh, I'm probably either gonna rivet it or add more bolts along the top I just gotta get some more small bolts another thing I did was finally finish up the pedals um, they are now all spring loaded and completed I adjusted the brakes a little bit to have a little bit firmer of a pedal um, and the accelerator pedal as well as the clutch pedal are right now spring loaded. You can see these springs here. I improved the bracing um, because I was getting some movement out of here and added these here as well as little triangles on the underside of the master cylinder mount to inc uh, increase stiffness. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully, um, in the next couple of videos, I'm actually going to get this thing running. Um, I may temporarily put in a single engine system just to get it running. Um, and then eventually move up to the dual engine setup that I really want to go with. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Next up, I'm going to be probably going to the junkyard to get some CV axles to use um, in the rear there. Uh, I think that's going to be the most efficient system to use. I tried the universal joints that I had on the previous model, but it was really prohibiting the suspension movement. So uh, we're going to work on that and uh, see what we can do there. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and comment any suggestions you have for this build or future builds. Uh, thanks.